just the quality of players you have it's just amazing this exactly. trend can do multiple roles sala can do sala thing i think you definitely were nailed on top four for me before even before the league started just simply because dude you have the players I think Liverpool might have just struck the jackpot at the slot machine which not many people can. I think I think it's a really good style of play. It has blended very well in with yeah. Klopp's Klopp style and mm-hmm. uh, you guys are flying high. Zero goals conceded and uh, many 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 goals that scored. What do you think? I know you know what I don't want to tempt fate or I don't want to kind of jinx anything but I really think that you know we finally we actually found a coach who can actually work with Klopp you know what I'm saying because there was a, there was a lot of and to and Klopp signed him and there was a lot of people who were like not so very much convinced by him because of his experience in Eredivisie and you know the fact that he has an Eredivisie club he's in that the experience you know, I think Liverpool's backroom staff has really put the jackpot in actually appointing him because they saw how Liverpool actually was uh, how, how Liverpool plays right from the youth academy to the high school I think they saw how that was under the pedestal we are going to find someone not exactly an answer someone who is we are going to find someone even though they feel guilty we're going to find and find someone who will fit the style of play uh, in, at all levels and I think that's basically why I think Slot is actually a very good choice going forward again it's just three games I'm not trying to get ahead of myself but it, the fact that we are able to kind of just blend in to the Slot style of playing it's, it shows how much research we have done on uh, in the, in the, in the back end and then how, how we came. I, I am still a skeptic when it comes to assessing new managers so quickly, mm-hmm. especially three games in the, in the season. I mean, because I personally believe that a lot of people are one-trick ponies. One of them will come mm-hmm. to right after this segment. It, it really shows how a coach evolves and how a coach survives a scare, right. especially if it's mm-hmm. like, you know, a big injury or like, you know, something goes going against them, like a couple of injuries mm-hmm. or like a string of results that, you know, unexpected results that, that happens. How do they bounce mm-hmm. back? How do they evolve from on this Started, uh, tactics. So that is something right. that I look on a new coach. Mm-hmm. But having said all of that, putting all of that context into the conversation, I think uh, you actually smashed it with the, uh, especially with with the fact that there is he can implement his own style with the players that you yeah. have, and that goes to show. Firstly, the Klopp, like how beautiful his tactics. I mean, how 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 interchangeable his tactics were with with uh, Slot and Klopp, but also like just the quality of players you have. It's just amazing. Exactly. His Trent can do multiple roles. Salah can do Salah things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He can he revived Graven Post to a certain extent. McAllister is like yeah. the next region of Kante, and it's just like you know everything is working out perfectly for you guys. No, exactly. And I think I think I want to allude to the last point you made, right? Because back to say for example, Slot came into a structure where Ten Hag came, in, and then there was no backroom staff. There was a, there was instability like all over, right? I think he he couldn't have performed to the best of his ability. The fact that he was given the platform, the fact that you know club. Klopp left him a good squad to work there. I think that's all working in his way. And yes, he's a good package, for sure. But the fact that Liverpool have been slowly adding to their squad and then they made his job much more easier, that's what you kind of look for in a healthy relationship. Like, you know, basically, you're trying to make each other's job easier. Yeah. And Slot walked into that area of, okay, we can definitely work with this. I can definitely implement my package. I don't need a huge turnover of players. I think that's where I think we are kind of really hit the jackpot in terms of parenting from. Again, three games and trying to kind of be calm and measure and everything. But at the same time, I really want to kind of understand. I think we had that. We made a very good appointment. Uh, we'll see how things go. But, you know, given so far and on this evidence, I don't think we will finish outside of top four. Uh, maybe the title could be too early to call given Man City. But top four is for sure. I think it's a month. No, I mean, I think you definitely were nailed on top four for me before, even before the league started. Just simply because, dude, you have the players. You have like, you know, the 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 four factor, if I were to call it, in in Trent, Salah, and uh, you know, Allison and Red Van Dyke, and you haven't conceded any goals. Like, so your defense is like pretty smashing. Even it, it, it was smashing last season too. So it's not like it has happened all of a sudden. Like it was like a consistent thing, and uh, probably you went down because of uh, in quality and in terms of performance because of injuries. But uh, scary times, bro. Like scary times for the league, and I, I really it hope was, it is. It's, it's kind of also scary for Liverpool that the, the four players that you mentioned, three of them might be leaving for the next season. So I think it's a topic I think I think about it little, but I think I think right now this one is not a Man United Liverpool win. Uh, but I don't know. I think I think in terms of how we have planned the squad so far, I don't I can't have any complaints. I think 
today's performance is basically a measure of it. It's basically a conclusion of how we have planned so far and what the first two games have been. And we should definitely keep at least two of those three people or four people, I guess. So I think Alice is going to say, hopefully French science, hopefully Van Dyke science, Salah, I don't know, stretch and go. Uh, let's see how it goes. I think it's Hala Madrid for Trent, bro. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh no, I think. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm convinced. In, in the likelihood of people signing extensions for their contracts, I think if Trent is gonna go, I mean, I think yeah. so because he has no reason to kind of stay at Liverpool at this stage of his career. I mean, yeah, this emotion and sentiment just said he has really no reason to kind of stay at Liverpool, and he has proven everything. He has achieved yeah. everything, unlike Gerard, unlike someone else, unlike a. A star is a little bit more, right? He has a cheap yeah. one, he's moving at it. So, Trent, as much as it hurts me, I think he's going to leave on a final field be, yeah. next summer with all the time on bonus he's going to be some way. Especially with Carvajal and nearing his retirement or whatever. Yeah. So Trent, I think, is going to leave. Uh, Salah is like a quick thing. I mean, it depends on his mood, I guess, and if he wants to be the best of it. I think Van Dyke may sign on your contract because he's a couple of Liverpool, I think he is much more loyal than him. So I guess, yeah. Let's see. Let's see. I hope I hope the best for Liverpool. Actually not. I hope I hope all of them all of them four leave. Uh and uh, and Pep leaves and everybody leaves and it's just Arsenal in the league and then we won it. 